derivative of the following. This is the same thing as the sine raised to the negative one. Or actually, that's a bad way to put it. Uh, negative one half, or excuse me, one half of x minus one. So what happens is we take the derivative of um, the outs or uh, of what's in here. So this this is x minus one raised to the one half. When we take the derivative of that, so d dx, and then the derivative of sine is equal to one half cosine raised to the negative one half um, x minus one. Actually, this doesn't change, actually. It's still square root of x minus 1. Okay, so what happens here is we bring the 1 half down, and it becomes x minus 1. And the derivative of the inside is just 1, because that's x. And then this becomes raised to the negative 1 half, and then we have the cosine of the square root of x minus 1. So when we sum this up, we have cosine square root of x minus 1, all over 2 times the square root of x minus 1. This is the same thing as the square root of x minus 1, and it's just to get it a positive exponent, we put it on the denominator. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day.